What's up, people? It's been a while. Um, we haven't been doing anything, man. After my nose surgery back in January, we really spent pretty much just getting kids back in order for school. So that's what they've been doing. Um, but we have a new project happening right now. You hear the dogs barking? They can't go outside like they want to because we have a very big hole in our backyard. Two feet deep, 15 feet wide, 20 feet, 26 foot long. Um, I am putting a semi in ground pool. So I'm pretty much is like the above ground pool, but it's going to be buried two feet in the ground. I have a, in the back, in the back of it, against the fence line, I put flowers and stuff so that there's no reason to go back there. Same thing on the other side. So I'm going to put the pool pump on this side over here in this front. It's an oval pool. It's an oval 12 by 24 foot pool. It should be here next week. This side right here, I'm going to do like a a mini deck next to it. Not really for you to stand on, but more so for like, we're going to put chairs. So it's kind of like a bar, like a tabletop. And then on that side is where the entrance is going to be. I'm going to use some of that dirt to kind of level out the ground a little bit. Bring some sod in and go from there. But so far, we, we sure I wanted a pool. I couldn't do an in-ground pool because there's a small chance we might not be here forever. Um, that's that's just be honest because when we bought this house that was before Shro got her new job um, So we might move you never know um, our, The builder that built this community They have two phases phase one and phase two we're in phase one, but the builder just sold the company So depending on how phase two looks we might definitely be out. Um, so we're just figuring it out now um, I figured so I figured instead of spending a lot of money for uh, an uh, in-ground pool, you're talking about almost $60,000. I could get a hole dug for 1500 bucks. The pool kit itself is just a regular above-ground pool. It just has thicker walls and frames and stuff so like that, so it could get buried. Plus a salt water kit, because um, it cost, I think, $5,000 altogether. So it wasn't too bad. I'll take it. Um, I'm going to do most of the work myself. And go from now. I was gonna dig the hole myself, but I was like, no, it's gonna probably take me too long. I don't got time for that. So, I'm gonna keep going. But the room's a mess now. You guys wanna see London's new room? Look at that, it's a mess. It's all right. Let's go to cases. We're seeing case rooms any better. Let's get the car, 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 get the car. Yes, we got the car. Hold on, press it, press it. Case has a little Xbox here. semi in ground pool well it's been a week I just my third day out here because it rained really bad so now I got maybe 10 inches of water on this side of the pool you can see that it is a slope because it is leading down to this side um, but working on it if you're looking at little shovel path right there I was working on leveling it out a little bit more before the rain came so I kind of have a general idea where I need to level it out to um, but yeah, got a little bit of work to do. Um, I was going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's to get a, a sub pump, but they say there's only one in stock and the reviews weren't that great. And I don't know if I could really trust it, to be honest with you, because I've been to Home Depot or Lowe's plenty of times when I said they have one thing in stock and it's not there. They can't find it. Um, so I'll be miserable driving and all that way and then not be able to find the stock. So gonna use a couple buckets start dumping out a lot of the water and we'll just do it old-fashioned way man all right so this is the current status we leveled out this part pretty much down there still needs a little bit of leveling but majority of it's leveled we're gonna tamp it down we'll wet it a little so that the, the mud could kind of like not clump together with the gaps and maybe fill some of the little gaps tamp it down again let it dry for a couple days get nice and hard all over again order the sand 
Start taking out the pieces. I haven't filmed in a couple days. Yesterday was pretty much a blur. Oh, yesterday was fixing these uprights. And then, what else did we do yesterday, Sherelle? I don't know. Yesterday was a real blur. I don't know what else we did yesterday. But today, we came back and had to, I realized that my hole is not big enough. So today, I had, we had to dig further into the ground to make this work. Ideally, it should work out fine. We just started to trench out this one. We've been out here all day today. We got out here maybe 10 o'clock this morning. Before we knew it, it was 1.30, and we had to go to the case of soccer game. That happened to be a wash, because it was pretty much canceled. And now we're back here again. But this is flat, straight. I got the paper stone back there. Gotta do it three more times. That part will be done. Then we'll start attaching the brackets to make this oval. Cheryl's clearing up some more dirt that where I miscalculated. Um, so we're doing that. Um, I don't know. It's a lot of hard work. We ain't got no money. You gotta do all the work yourself. You just gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Oh, yesterday, we had a game in the morning time. We had to go to Home Depot. So we didn't really start doing anything yesterday until maybe about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Which involved a little bit more of leveling out the ground. Getting it all squared away. And now we're going. Had to put together the wheelbarrow last night because I had to buy the wheelbarrow. I got a delivery sand that you guys seen. Uh, we're making it work. Let's keep on going. Okay, so this is the current progress. I put gravel over there to kind of make it a little firmer in that area, uh, just cause it was a little low. And I didn't want to do too much sand, so I just did some gravel before I put sand down. So I did that. I'm starting to get these guys squared off to this and to that. I have to sh clean up over there a little bit before I can attach that piece. But ideally today, my goal is to get all the sand inside here so that by tomorrow I can start putting up the walls. And ideally, if I could start putting up the walls tomorrow and the liner in there, I could start adding water tomorrow night. If I could start adding water tomorrow night, I'll then be able to let the water run until um, halfway mark and then add the skimmers and stuff then I'll get an electrician to run power to this side because the skimmer is going to be over there and we'll be all good from there um, but it definitely is uh, hard work so um, I am saving a good bit of money but it just depends if you have the time to get it done I mean it would have been easier with a round pool but you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but let's do this. So the current status is, this, the walls are up. Got the panel in, I just have to tighten the bolts over there. I have to um, add some more sand to the bottom. We got it up. Um, it is definitely something that you should do with multiple people, at least two people, to get the walls up, because it is heavy. Um, Cheryl had to leave to go to her mother's house for her mother's birthday. So I did it myself. What I did was I bought 10 of these um, five foot um, stakes. Um, you can see it right there. Bought five of those. I bought 10 of those and then 10 clamps. And I pretty much just went around the perimeter of the pool where I knew I was going to go. And I just kind of hammered them in. And as I was unraveling the, the wall, I would then clamp it so it could stay in place. Uh, you also use duct tape to duct tape the, the body to the um, actual posts that are up there already. So that was pretty, pretty solid. It was, 
it was a pain in the ass, I'll tell you that. Um, definitely was a pain. But what I'm going to do now is get more sand, put more sand in. I still have sand in front of the house that I have to put in there. Put the liner in. Once the liner all that's in there, then I could start adding water and hook up the plumbing. Um, I'm actually trying to decide what I'm going to do, how, where I was going to place the plumbing. There's more, more space on the side of this yard than I thought it was going to be. So this is how much space I have now. And what I'm going to do is, I'm thinking about maybe building like a little little wall on each side and just put the plumbing down here so that it's not too tall and really an eyesore. I was going to do like plants and stuff behind the pool. So I actually thought it was going to be a lot closer to the gate, but it's not. But that's cool. Um, that gives me a little bit of flexibility. If I ever have to do something on this side of the house, this all works out good. Um, it's definitely more than three feet away from the fence, so that's good. And... Go well, from there. I might just do. I might just extend a sitting area over here for more seating. See how it goes. Um, yeah, I figured it out. But let's do this. All right. Well, here we are now. Another day. Finally got the sand in. Pounded it down. Trying to smooth it out as best as possible. Shell's out here. Got that kit in there. I did we should be doing all right, but it's work. It's work. All right, so this is current status. I got all the pool coves in, the little liner. I thought this was gonna be some styrofoam. That tricked me, it's just a felt liner. Um, I'm about to try to get the, I think the liner goes next. It's high, man, it's working me out. I don't know, I'm a little concerned because the, the bottom's still a little bumpy. I'm hoping when I put the water in, I can smooth it out a little bit by rubbing my feet across in certain areas to kind of just get it good smoothing, but we'll see. update of where we are I haven't been filming a lot last thing I filmed was putting the liner in which I did bad and had to do it like three times which in which extended the project out for like two weeks because I didn't realize there's a special way to install the liner by going from one side like in like a star pattern so when I was doing it I just went around and it made it too small and then it pulled the walls out, the brackets. It was just miserable, man. Um, but I figured it out. I got that all in there. We, Sherelle and I, spent maybe, today is Tuesday. We started on Thursday backfilling. Thursday or Friday. And we've been backfilling by hand the past three or four days. Um, and we got it all out. You guys, I'm about to show you a picture of how much dirt was here before. And now you guys are going to see what it looks like now. Um, but the pump is in, everything, the water's running. I just have to balance the water. The salt's in there. The salt generator's going. I just got to get an electrician to run power over there because right now I'm just running an extension cord. Um, I used all the extra dirt around to level the, the yard as much as possible because the yard was really sloped. It's not fully leveled because I still want some type of slopage and drainage. But I definitely did my best. To level it out then we have I'm about to order some new sod I'm just gonna lay down new sod and two days on Thursday I have a concrete guy coming to extend a concrete patio to the end of the house with a walkway down to the pool and a wraparound I have the wood over there so I could make the steps for the ladder uh, but it's not all gonna get done right now um, this week I'll have the basics down tomorrow I'm going to work on the steps and that's gonna be the plan. But here's the status, man. We're doing it. We did a lot of it by hand. The plan was to save as much money as I possibly can and spend money on stuff I, I can't avoid spending money on, which is pretty much going to be the sod, which is only like 600 bucks, 
and um, cement work, which is about $3,000. Um, it's just easier to have them come out instead of me willing bags and bags of cement back here and taking three months to extend it all out. They'll do it in two days and it'll be good to go. Um, but we're good. We're good. But, hey, people. Um, so, as you notice, I'm sitting down. Sherelle's sitting down, too. We're relaxing. So we got a new patio. Well, not new. We just got it extended from there to over here. Why, you may ask? Because the pool is officially done. We got somebody to come do the concrete around the pool. A little walkway, extended patio. We got brand new sod over there. We got some border, some trim border going on. We got some rocks over here. We got some fresh mulch. We got plants being planted. But most importantly, the pool is done. We started this project like the, the last week in May. I mean, last week of Feb February is when I got somebody to dig the hole. About a week later, Sherelle ordered the pool. The pool came about oh, three days after that. The trail was out of town. It was rainy. We didn't really do too much. Um, we started with the guy that dug the pool. He only does like a, a soft grade. Like they don't really flatten it out. Um, I would have got somebody else to do that. So, but we had to save as much money as we possibly can. So we did the the leveling out of the hole with two shovels, a pickaxe, and a, a landscape rake. Two pickaxes. Two pickaxes, because I lost a pickaxe to a rock. Uh, <laughs> this broke clean right off the pickaxe. So we had to go get a new pickaxe. Um, we did that every weekend from eight o'clock in the morning to pretty much eight o'clock at night. We just leveled that. Once we got leveled, you guys seen that I got a pile of sand delivered. I used the sand to start doing a base. I don't think you guys, I recorded that I had to get some gravel to kind of just shore up one of the sides that was a little lower. And I didn't want to do too much compacting with dirt because it was going to, I was afraid of settle, so I used gravel instead. And then I sanded over that. Um, and then, then we just started putting the pool walls up, which the pool, it wasn't too bad. The digging of holes was really was was what was killer because we got an oval pool, so we had to put like the the buttress system in which was a pain um, leveling that out making sure each of them are exactly the correct distance away from each other um, in the direction the directions even say that it's going to probably take a lot of effort to level it out but just just stick with it type deal <laughs> um, so we did that then you guys see when I put the pool liner in after I got the walls up in order to get the walls up though I had to go to Lowe's and bought uh 10 five feet tall um lawn stakes and a bunch of and 10 c clamps so i could kind of get 10 extra hands and i used that to keep the walls up while i went around and put it all in track i had to do that three times because i put the liner in wrong three times and each time i put it in wrong it knocked everything out the track it was fun times um so i finally sat down for like six hours surfing the internet and I found out how to actually install it properly in a correct order once I did that how long did it take the liner to go in how long less than half an hour yep like 10 minutes everything was perfect and then the whole act of filling the pool started took two days to fill got the plumbing in plumbing was the easiest part because I, I have I've I pretty much we had a pool before at that last house so had to replace the pump and stuff and I kind of have an understanding of pump, the plumbing that was easy um, except I couldn't find my channel lock and I had to go buy a new one and then watch me find the other one and that's 30 something dollars of, of channel lock but anyway the Casey's birthday was this weekend as of last week Thursday we still had piles of sand I mean dirt in the yard because the pool was finally finished so we started last week thursday just backfilling with two shovels you might say hey why didn't you get a mini skid or something like that number one i don't know how to drive one 
Number two, I was really afraid of anything hitting a pool and that's money we can't get back because that's definitely not under warranty. And I was afraid of that happening. Then I was also running out of money and those rental things, depending on how long you keep it, it could cost up to a good bit of money. So it was like, you know what? Let's just take our time, get it done, which we did. We lost every bit of dirt in the lawn, leveled out the lawn as best as we can. I spent about $680 give or take on sod to get delivered $250 to get four tons of mulch delivered um, the sod I took about a day and a half the sod didn't take too long to lay down took about a day and a half the mulch not even a day and a half because you started it and well you did it in the daytime then you had to work yeah so, so I, less than that though yeah it's about a day and a half to lay the sod down um, I made made a change to the plan halfway through because I realized it's gonna look stupid if I only sod it <laughs> half the lawn Because in the back corner there we're gonna put a pergola sooner or later I was like I'm just gonna leave that sand for now dirt for now But that red clay would have turned muddy it would have been miserable and we're getting tired of seeing red clay inside the house So I was like, you know what? Let me get rid of it. So I started I just sod everything um, In order to save money though If you guys can't see I use landscape timbers in order to do the um, trim around there, down there. I'm gonna paint it the same color as the fence. Then I went and bought the, they call it basic cinder block, whatever it is, in the color walnut, which came out really good, especially because it was a spur of the moment thing. I was not done that because I can only fit about 30 in a car without trying to put too much on the suspension. Um, so I'll get some more. We'll build a retaining wall over here. Don't worry about what happens over here. That's, that's under construction still. That's still under construction. There's brick stuff. I just tossed everything over there. Um, but we're coming together. I have to put the, I have to build to figure out the stair situation for the pool. But we're, we're now relaxing. Right? Mm-hmm. You want to go dig a hole? No, but I got to put my plants inside the pot. We do gotta put some plants inside the pots. Um, maybe we could get into business installing pools for a living. I'll never do that again. All right, maybe not. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys around with some some clips, maybe some pictures, and we'll just go from here. But it's it's pretty cool to see the transformation, especially since we did the transformation ourselves, um, because this backyard was pretty much just empty besides the kids playground the first part of it was getting the shed put up painting the shed to match the house um, so now it's really just figuring it out and go from there but we saved a lot of money um, doing a lot of the work ourselves the only thing we couldn't save money on was getting the concrete patio poured because it was six yards of concrete that was going to be needed. So, uh, we would have been mixing concrete for at least three months. And I don't think Sherelle wanted to see another shovel. So, um, it was just easier to have somebody else come do that, get it done one good time, have the pool completely finished by this summer. We just got to get some rocks to fill in the gaps by the pool and the concrete. We'll figure that out. I was building a table. I am still going to build a table, but I don't know. I don't know if we need that many sitting here. Or if I'm I just wondering how it's going to look. That's what I'm trying to figure out you now. you can't walk if you... That's what I was thinking. You think I should skip that idea? Mm. And just have another... Well, let me get off the camera now because I don't want nobody to know what's happening out here. My face ain't of my backyard project. Mm. 